A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 6, verses 7 to 13. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Jesus called the twelve to him and sent them out in pairs. He gave them authority and power to deal with the evil opposition. He sent them off with these instructions. Don't think you need a lot of extra equipment for this. You are the equipment. No special appeals for funds. Keep it simple. And no luxury inns. Gather more displays and be content there until you leave. If you are not welcome, not listened to, quietly withdraw. Don't make a scene. Struck your shoulders and be on your way. Then they were on the road. They preached with joyful urgency that life can be radically different. Right and left they sent the demons packing. They brought wellness to the sick, anointing their bodies, healing their spirits. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, let's listen to a short reflection according to St. Mark chapter 6 verses 7 to 13. Relying on the Word of God In chapter 30 of the book of Proverbs, the wise man asks the Lord for two things, to be spared from poverty and from riches. He explains that if he were rich, he might turn away from the Lord, and if he were in poverty, he might be driven to do wrong. This reflects the wisdom of seeking a balanced and content life without extreme wealth or extreme poverty. The main message of the text is the importance of sharing our wealth and possessions with others. It emphasizes that our material riches should be transformed into love by sharing them with our brothers and sisters. Failing to transform our material wealth into acts of charity will lead to losing these riches in the afterlife. St. Paul urges us to assist the vulnerable through our diligent work, echoing the teachings of Jesus, who stated that giving is more gratifying than receiving. Before sending out the disciples, Jesus gives instructions. First of all, he says what? they can take for the road. In the Gospel according to Mark, a walking stick is permitted, while Matthew and Luke say not to carry it. Why? For Matthew and Luke, the walking stick was a weapon and hence, a disciple shall not carry a weapon. They emphasize the spreading of God's kingdom as not being built through violence. In today's passage from Mark, those engaging in the evangelizing mission are called on to rely on the power of God's Word and the Spirit of Christ to carry out this extraordinary mission. As missionaries, we carry the powerful Word of God to bring hope, love, and forgiveness to those in need, healing the sick and dispelling oppressive forces from people's lives.